first recording. myself to? Yeah. How's it going? My name is Luis Montoya. I'm a private uh, personal trainer, professional fitness model, and bodybuilder. I first started my fitness journey around 2011. Um, at that time, I was in a really bad place in life, um, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and I was depressed. I was uh, very insecure with the way I looked. Um, I didn't look the way I did now. I was 240 pounds, about 50% body fat, and I just didn't know what to do with myself. Growing up, I was always an athlete, and I was always in shape, but life happened, and all of a sudden, I just gained 100 pounds. Um, at that point, I remember my girlfriend at the time, who was also my high school sweetheart, she gave me the news that I was going to be a father, and it changed my life completely. It started off with, uh, <laughs> looking back now, it was, it was a tragedy that turned into the biggest blessing that God could ever send me. So she told me that I was going to be a father, and you know, evaluating where I was in life, just didn't like who I was, who I became. Um, didn't want my kid to see me this way. So I decided to make a change. Um, just wanted my son to see me kind of like a Superman figure and brag about me. I wanted my son to be like, my dad can do this, my dad can do anything just because my dad is strong. And I wasn't strong at that point. I was very insecure, I was depressed. And it was to the point where like, I just had a hard time looking at myself in the mirror just because it was a reminder of what I did to myself. I had gained 100 pounds and I just didn't know how to even start. But one day I just woke up and decided I wanted to make a change. I wanted to make a change for my kid. So I started running, which was the easiest thing for myself. Um, my initial why was my kid. That's what got me up every single day. So I started running, started meal prepping, started working out. Soon enough, I lost 20 pounds. And a couple months went by, and one morning, I remember my uh, girlfriend, hearing my girlfriend crying in the bathroom. And I ran over there, and there was a lot of blood in, in, in that scene. So um, what had happened was she had a miscarriage. So we didn't know it. We're very, we're very scared of what was going on. So we rushed her to the hospital soon enough when we did get there. After hour, hours of waiting, found out that the blessing that God had sent me was gone. I was no longer gonna be a father, so I just, my initial why to get up every morning was gone. So I started kind of giving up on myself. Work was hell. I used to be a butcher, a meat cutter. I was, didn't really know much about fitness. Um, I just knew I wanted to make a change for myself. But every day that I woke up, it seemed like it was just, it was, it was a bad day every day, you know, especially after those news. You know, it just it seemed like the world was just coming down on me. Work was hell, I hated my job, I wasn't happy. I wasn't in the best uh, terms with my family. Went about a year or two without speaking with my parents. Financially, I was in debt. I was getting phone calls from creditors every single day at work. And I just, I didn't know what to do. It got to the point where like, I was just so depressed that one day I just decided I was gonna take my life. And I wanted to commit suicide. I figured that, you know, it was just an easy way out. So I remember going in the bathroom and, you know, I was gonna do it, but I, I didn't even know where, <laughs> how to even go about that. So 
I, I didn't, but every day that I woke up, every day that I drove home from work, I was contemplating on how I would take my life away. Was I gonna hang myself? Was I gonna, you know, slice my wrist? I don't know what I was gonna do. But the day that I did decide to do it, I remember I just got down on my knees and I just started praying to God. I was just literally, I didn't have a relationship with God at that point. I was, uh, I felt like God gave up on me at that moment, you know, but he was the only person that I can turn to at that moment. And I remember just asking God, I don't know why this is happening, but if you can help me just get through this, you know, I promise, I promise I'll make the best out of this life. And sure enough, I did. Woke up the next morning, got back to the gym, got back on meal prepping. Before I knew it, you know, a year went by and I lost a hundred pounds. The, uh, the creditors kept on calling me. Life was, seemed like it was getting better, but then it just wasn't, you know. I got to the point where like, I had to declare bankruptcy and, you know, financially I just, I, I couldn't provide for my girlfriend, for my family, for anybody. I always knew I had, an, you know, like an entrepreneur mindset and I wanted to do something in life. I just didn't know what. I had the drive, I just didn't know how to even start. So I remember starting small little businesses and they would take off, but then I always gave up. Sure enough, the one thing that I didn't give up on was fitness. I promised myself I wouldn't give up on myself. And I made that promise to my kid. I made that promise to myself and it became life changing for me. I remember I picked up this magazine when I was overweight and I saw this fitness model and something about them just drew me in. I remember just thinking to myself, like, man, if I can just look like that, like, my life would be different. And I remember buying the magazine. I ended up hanging that magazine on my wall. And every day, that was my motivation. So every day that I, work, I would work out, every day that I would want to just give up on myself, I would look at that guy in that magazine. And I would just tell myself, just push a little harder. Just push a little harder. It got to the point where I started believing in myself. I started, you know, telling my friends that I was going to be that guy on that cover. I remember telling my coworkers at work, telling them one day I'm going to be that guy on that magazine cover. Being that I was still fat, of course, everybody laughed at me. And um, it's funny because if you fast forward to today, I've been publishing three international magazines and I've scored two magazine covers. Now my confidence with women back then was so low. I just had so low self-esteem. Every time I would try to talk to a girl, my hands would start shaking, my, uh, my hands would start sweating, my voice would start cracking, and I just didn't even know how to go about it. I had no confidence whatsoever. But as I started bettering myself in every aspect, not just physically, but mentally, spiritually, emotionally, everything started changing. Started believing that I was a better person because I was becoming a better person. And I just started owning it. So today, my confidence is just through the roof. I do life coaching. I help men become gentlemen. And I teach them how to speak to girls. And I teach them how to dress. I teach them fashion teach them about, you know, lifestyle. I teach them about health and wellness, how to meal prep, how to pretty much become the ultimate gentleman. And I've changed hundreds of lives through my coaching platform. Fast forwarding to today, I now own uh, my own business and health and wellness. I've helped thousands of people transform their lives. I'm a transformation specialist. I impact people through social media, through daily encounters, through fitness, and more than anything, I help them change their mindset. People get so caught up on the physique, but they forget that it starts with the mindset. And that's where I start. 
Because if I can change anything, I would change my mindset. Changing my mindset and just going through what I did go through with my weight loss, it taught me discipline, it taught me patience, it taught me dedication and hard work. I learned how to take all those aspects, all those traits and apply them into my life. Got baptized, I'm a Christian, go to church, I help bring people to my church through my platform, through my fitness. Financially, I'm able to provide for my family through my business. More than anything, I'm changing lives. I'm helping people that are in a very dark place like I was, giving them hope that there's a better life out there. Most people don't realize how hard this is. Transforming your body is probably gonna be the hardest thing you can ever do in life. But if you can achieve a transformation, you can literally achieve anything in life. What you learn through that process is something that you will carry on forever, and it's a lifestyle. So that's my testimony. Luis Montoya, thank you for listening.